is a uh, water, a fork, and a blade, and a bowl. First step is be careful in using the blade. The, uh, the first test is we will put the blade in this position. Watch what will happen next. As you can see, the blade it is float. The next test is we will use a fork to dip the blade. Watch what will happen. In the first trial, the sharp tip of the blade was first exposed to the water. Due to the lesser surface that was exposed, less surface tension and less intermolecular force happened that caused the blade not to float. On the next trial, we used the fork to balance the blade before putting it in a bowl of water. Due to the high surface that was exposed, high surface tension and high intermolecular force that happened that caused the blade to float. We want to try experiment. Here, hold the blade carefully. Place the blade like this so it has a lesser contact with the water and the pool. As you can see, the blade didn't flow. In the next trial, use the fork to balance the blade here. Then slowly put the blade and get the Fork. As you can see, the blade float because of the fork used in this experiment. In conclusion with this experiment, that in the first trial that it's in contact, the edge of the blade is in contact with the water. So less surface is exposed in the water. So in that experiment, lesser surface that was exposed lesser intermolecular force happen and also the lesser surface tension follows. On the next trial where you use the fork to balance the blade, as you can see, there is a lot of surface that was exposed on the water. With this, the high surface that was exposed on the water High surface tension happened, so high intermolecular force also follows. Yeah, there is direct proportional of the both surface tension and intermolecular force. And that's it. The discussion about the surface tension of intermolecular forces.